Here's one of those rocks that I think if I can get anything out of it, I'll be successful, no matter how big or small. It's very difficult to make a flat piece out of something so round. <clears throat> but there's a, a bit of a ridge here. Um, I'm going to hit up here with a big bopper and see what what happens. Put some leather underneath me here. This is a two and a half inch bopper. This piece is so beautiful inside. Shiny. High gloss. Looks like maybe some fossils and stuff. I hope I can get something out of it. Well, apparently I will because this flake here is plenty big to make a, a nice little uh, arrowhead out of. It's going to be pretty. So already we got one arrowhead and then whatever we can get out of the rest. Okay, so maybe we can run down this ridge heading up here. Get up here and try to go down this ridge. This is a two inch bopper. Okay, so with that big bopper, we knocked the flake off right down that hump we were talking about. It'd be a real challenge to get anything out of this piece, but certainly is conceivable to get something, especially considering how high quality it is. Now we, we've got kind of a flat surface up here if we can get rid of this pump here that would be wonderful so but I feel like going over here this way because this this angle on this edge here is just right for me I think I can drive a pretty long flake down this way let's try that Put some finger pressure up on the ridge. Use a big bopper. That's a big flake. Just exactly what I was thinking. Now this piece here, for sure, I got a Biogula fishtail point in here for sure. So that might be two of those. And now this piece is really getting flat. See how flat? So we're basically treating this almost like a, a core, a blade core. That often happens when you're working these round cobbles. Okay, so I need to start thinking about these thicknesses here and here. So, I feel like driving a flake across here. So, got an edge here.
Let's hit it with the big bopper and see if we can rip a curved flake around here. Okay. Let's try to run this way. Almost like zigzagging here. A lot of pressure up here. We ran that way. Now I want to run this way. It's still kind of like the blade core where my next blade is coming down right here. Nice. I see it's like a blade core. We got blades we keep coming getting them off here on this face and those blades some of them can make arrowheads now we've got another ridge here that we might can use a platform later and go down that ridge okay so I look around I'm trying I want to get at least a nice little point out of this rest of this rock Real high quality. Okay, I feel like the next best thing is to try to run this way. There's almost a platform ready. Well, just make sure it's good and strong got this uh, right here I'm gonna well I need to trim just a little bit wasn't quite right man that looks a lot better good sturdy platform here we'll rip a big flake here maybe there'll be an arrowhead in that flake there if it's big enough yeah it's kind of curved but I I think there's a biogula fishtail in here too all right we're getting we're getting thinner Each time we take off a nice flake, we're left with a good ridge. Now it's time to go down that ridge here from the end here. So let's get some platform over here. And just run down this ridge. Maybe that flake will be big enough for something. I'm right down through there. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice flake. Definitely going to get a biogula fishtail out of that one. So it looks like we've, we've got blades for four small point types plus whatever left over in, in this core here. Okay, next thing is yeah, I'm looking, this is flat over here, or this is humps over here. So, I've got to get rid of some of this thickness here and here. And this, this is a square edge. So we're going to have to zigzag that. Or sometimes you can do an overshot flake and rip off some of that. We'll have to see how it goes. I feel like going down this way right now. Hold some finger pressure along here and hit down that way. 
Ooh, nice. And boy, there's a there's another blade that's good enough for an arrowhead, probably. At least of the size and type I'm thinking. Look how flat this surface is. All right. Let's see here. Let's get rid of some of this thickness down here. to build a platform over here and, and rip off a big flake on this side. Okay, we got us a platform here. Hopefully like a big flake out here. Ah, I crushed my platform, but no harm done. Get up here and build another platform. Sometimes you just have to move over a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try to go more at an angle over this way. Maybe we'll even remove some of this edge, this square edge here, with kind of an overshot here. Ah, I messed up. Let's try again. Slow down my <coughs> bopper speed. Sometimes if you use too much speed or, or your bopper's too heavy, you wind up crushing the platforms instead of making the flake. So you got to only use the m amount of energy that you need and not more than that. Okay, I've been crushing all into there. So that's, uh, let's just see if we can clean this up here. Once you start crushing some platforms, you got to really move over because otherwise you just keep crushing. Oh well. Let's keep moving over here. Really, I need to go down in the bopper size because that two inch is too big for this piece. So um, that was probably my my main trouble was I was using too big of a bopper. Okay, that's a nice little flake. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to try to get rid of some of this here. I'm trying to preserve size of the leftover piece. Looks like we might get a platform here and knock off some thickness here. This is definitely a useful flake. It's thick enough to make those little tiny points.
there now all of that crushed area is gone got rid of it all we're left with nothing but pure goody this point is just I mean this rock is really nice it chips real easy it's a uh, super quality and now look how thin we are here we can um, probably get a couple more percussion plates and then all we need is pressure let's see if we can go down this ridge here right down the ridge nice we're getting pretty thin now okay run down this way here this is such a nice piece we we'll try to run this ridge here one more flake here All right, well, I'm gonna stop right there. This is a, a nice preform. I can decide what kind of point I wanna make out of it. That'll be two and a quarter inches long, maybe an inch and a half wide. High gloss, nice material, it's smooth. And look at all the flakes we got. We're going to make some arrowheads here, and there's going to be a nice point out of this guy. If you haven't tried this style of bopper, please do so. You'll you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching.